Hey, thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about the improvement we made to our spray booth. An automatic spinning door sprayer table. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, I did see this over at Stolbeck, which is uh, bred from Best Ham Doors. Uh, they make these machines actually, so if you wanted to purchase this, go over there and get that. Uh, we, there was a few features that we didn't have, or that didn't exist in it at that point, that we wanted to have, and uh, that stopped us from purchasing it. We were already like right on our way to purchase it, but we ended up just building it ourselves. Um, one issue was we wanted it to return back as you can see there now it's just returning back to the way it was before um I've, i found it difficult to uh, wrap my head around learning how to spray in both directions for some reason so wanted to be able to make it spin so as you can see there's a little wireless button that you press makes it spin and uh it, what this is is a rotary actuator so it's powered by a relay and a pneumatic solenoid that makes the table spin 180 degrees and it spins back. We did it do a little magnetic top piece and this top part uh, that protects the paint from getting on everything is one of those 3M liners. Just happened to fit over top perfectly so we use that along with a cardboard tube from a 3 inch shrink wrap roll uh, to, cut, to protect from the paint. It's very rudimentary, the system that's going on here. Uh, we just used, you know, gas pipes with a, a three-quarter pillow block on the inside. We'll show that here in a second. The cardboard shroud's cut on the CNC machine to fit over it. This pillow block bearing was purchased on Amazon for 30 bucks or something. Uh, and it was just the right size to fit that adapter plate. So this whole pile of garbledy gook here, go ahead and roast me in the comments there. I'm not an engineer, but uh, it's basically just connecting that rod to the rotary uh, pneumatic ro rotary actuator. So the only real issue we had with the Stolbeck uh, spin bot, they call it, was you hit the button, it goes one way. You hit the button, it goes back the other way. We just wanted to be able to hit it once. As we pick up the door and start walking away, it spins back to zero. And as you can see, that's what it's doing here. Um, we did this with a smart switch. We're currently 3D printing a handle for the switch button to attach to the hose. And I'll let you know how that goes in a future video. Thanks for watching.